Welcome to Gaming Finn, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the stock market, the financial markets. My name is Mr. Orange and in this video we're going to talk about the Embracer Group. So it's a Swedish gaming company, a Swedish gaming holding. Most probably you already heard about this, so if not then also check out some of my older videos that you find of course on my channel. So guys, what happened? Embracer Group is now 10.49% up on Friday. On Friday alone 10.49% up and this is a massive move and in this video we try to find out what the reason is. You see I already have a lot of tabs open here on my screen and uh, you, you uh, probably you already imagine which direction it goes. So also want to go check out very quickly the chart. So this is the chart of of Embracer Group at the Swedish, uh, yeah, at, at the Stockholm Stock Exchange. So this is in Swedish Krones. So that's always very important. Keep this in mind. So most probably you will buy it in dollar or in euros, depending on where you are in the world. So here I would say overall we are still here. We still pump, bumped, uh, uh, or let's say we jumped back from the trend line. So and this is a, this is a very strong support. This was here uh, in yeah in on Friday you got this pump of 10.49 percent. So if we would have broken through this. A little support trend line then yeah and then probably we could have seen even the 40 uh, Swedish coins all of it is possible guys also I'm not a financial advisor I'm just a youtuber and retail investor myself this is only for entertainment especially and a little bit information purposes only so please don't buy anything I'm talking here about in this video so and I myself invested in Embracer all right putting the disclaimer aside where what is going on so if we go on the investors page we see there is a quarter one report so if you if you want me to talk about the quarter re one report uh, uh, in another video so please write it down in the commentary section and then if we go on Yahoo Finance you also see nothing so but then if we go here on Reuters we see that they uh, of the uh, an information about the Saudi wealth fund savvy games group to invest 37.8 billion dollars guys in the ga in gaming companies in gaming companies this is crazy and therefore I'm actually bullish on gaming companies therefore I'm all, also pretty nice uh, pretty nicely invested in gaming companies so. So I'm not going to read through this whole article because I'm also going to cover this in another video. But uh, that's a lot of money. So a lot, a lot of money. And they want to uh, acquire a leading game publisher to become a strategic development partner. But they also, they want to invest 20 billion riyadh. So I, uh, yeah, 20 billion riyadh. So yeah, it's it's a probably three. three so something around about 7 billion uh, US dollars, is this possible, uh, will be invested in mature industry partners who bring expertise to the service portfolio and 2 billion reals will target industry disruptors, so 20 billion. So and I think, and this is now just me assuming, so I have no idea guys if this really happened because I don't find any other news, but I think that actually they, this, this news may be pushed, Embracer, maybe this was already the push in Embracer. All is possible. So, so maybe this news pushed other investors to go in Embracer because I think now uh, that uh, that the Saudi wealth fund savvy games is going to acquire Embracer. It's going to acquire Embracer. This would mean uh, then the stock goes up and someone decided to uh, to trade this. Some some big institutional investor. Or it was already Savvy Games, it was already the Saudi wealth fund that was already starting to buy in. So all of this is possible, all of this is possible. So, but what I know now that I'm actually, uh, that or that there's a big chance that we might go up to the 80, 80, 85 uh, uh, Swedish crowns. All of this is possible. And especially if the market starts to recuperate a little bit, so then uh, I'm sure that we also see a better values in Embracer. The company itself yeah they have some 
they are a really really had a really really broad portfolio of course that means they have sometimes games that are not running well and sometimes games that are running uh, very good so tiny tina's wonderland was running well then on the other hand saints road no new saints road was not going so well but yeah this news here also i'm putting it to you in the in the commentary section my friend so the saudi arabia is is going big in is going big in and uh, it's also as it is written here it's not really logical uh, it's not possible to buy for the 13.3 billion us dollars a game companies like electronic i take two or bandai namco so they're probably eyeing much more Embracer here, the first one, because they already have a big stake in Embracer. Konami, Capcom, Square Enix, Ubisoft, uh, etc. So all of this is possible. Oh my god, also Ubisoft. I have to show you in another video also what's going on there. So therefore, subscribe to my channel, guys, then you get a lot of information. Also, if we go here on the Embracer group page, my friends, so we see, we see here that there, there is no, the last news release is from the 21st of September and then from the 16th of September, where they just invite to a webcast Embracer group and a general meeting, including selected deep dive information. So there's not really a lot going on. So this must be, in my opinion, uh, related, this little pump related to the Savvy Group. So also here, Savvy Group, I also will make a dedicated video about this, especially about the people behind this uh, be behind this group so i think this is extremely thrilling and for all for all the uh, uh, gaming company investors uh, this is a must read read and a must video that you need to to watch then and i'm going to make it so a lot of announcements in this video but this video was dedicated mostly to the embracer group so there is new momentum in the embracer group stock so therefore uh <laughs> i would say if you have it on your watch list continue having a close look on this if you want to invest now or later or, well that's of course your decision so i i'm actually now a bit sad that i didn't buy more when we were here at this uh, support trend line so but obviously you can you never know in which direction it goes and looking at my overall stock portfolio at the moment uh uh, 2nd of October, I'm re recording this video. The market looks extremely bad and the world economy looks extremely bad. Everything is so negative. Everything is so grip, guys. So, all right, leaving it here. Wish you a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye-bye.